as I recall, I did say to you after that initial you know, jab you took at the proposal that it didn't have a throwdown statement. And you were a little unsure of what I meant by that. And I, I think this is what I said to you. You need to explain to the editor why, why you're writing this book. Ah. Because you need them to understand that this isn't just Pressfield's way of making cash for the next year or so. This is, this is a life thing. And boy, did you deliver on that. That's true, yeah. So that was, that was what you were talking about, a throw down statement. And the statement was, let me get, take the long way around to that thing, okay. was that I knew the, the external story here, the, 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 the action story here, was warriors breaking through, fighting, getting in, capturing, but a boom, right? But what, what's the internal story? And, and it has to be, it also had to be a story that was not specific to Jews only. It had to That's transcend right. that. So what was the story? The story was, to me, again, this goes back to theme. We're asking again, what's the theme? What's this about, <laughs> right. right? And the theme was return from exile. That's right. That, uh, that even though there was a state of Israel for 19 years before this war, that state did not have the old city of Jerusalem. That was in Arab hands. It was Jordanian behind barbed wire and everything. And in the old city of Jerusalem were the holiest sites of Judaism. So it was an incomplete return home after 2,000 years. You know, you had everything except the center, the soul center. So that sort of answered the question, why the Six Day War? Why not the Yom Kippur War? Why not the War of Joshua in 4000 BC or whatever it is? Why not, you know, whatever? And the answer to that was none of those wars ended with the capture, the liberation of the holiest site in Judaism, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. after 2000 years of not being, you know, and all of the pogroms and Holocaust and everything, all because the Jewish people had no homeland and they were strangers in, in a strange land. So here was getting that homeland back, or at least the, the, the crucial part of it. So that it doesn't apply just to the Jewish people. I thought this also applies to any individual, any individual that we are all in a state of exile, right? And what we're exiled from, and this is what Black Irish is all about, is the, the center of our being, you know? It's like, and um, that was the equivalent of the Western Wall, the Wailing Wall, the holiest site. And just as we each, as an individual, needs to find who we are, right? If we're gay, we have to embrace the fact that we're gay. If we're black or whatever you want to, you know, we have to embrace that, right? And, and when you embrace it, it's always through adversity. Nobody hands it to you. The United Nations doesn't come over and give it to you, right? You have to take it by force of arms. And so that's what the, the Jewish people, the IDF did. They broke through the lion's gate and they seized it. So I, so I knew that, so the, so the throw down statement for me here was, thanks to you guiding me, was that this was, that I have written about wars of other people, mm -hmm. other peoples, yes. but never about my own people. And so the big statement for me was, you know, I'm a Jewish writer, I'm a Jew, this is for me, this is my odyssey as well as, as, as the book, you know? And it is, you know, it's my return from exile as well. Just as the paratroopers got to the, to the Western Wall, that, that the writing of this book is gonna be my statement for that thing. You know, and then I think I finished it up with something and, and, uh, and don't forget that I am circumcised and I'm gonna do a great job, something like that. <laughs> but uh, in any event, I walked that the walk was as well as the, talk uh, talk. Yeah. and I remember we thought, should we cut that sentence out? You know? <laughs> but uh, so that was the throwdown statement, thanks to you, and you're, you're right, so that's a, that was absolutely they necessary. They got absolutely necessary. Right. Because in a way what it is is this throwdown statement is why Steve Pressfield? That's why right. him? Why this guy? Why not, you know? It stops the ladies saying, oh, he's not a journalist. In, or right, man, exactly. He's not a right. journalist. Uh, right, yeah. And it did. Yeah. So, but that I think is probably applies to any statement, right? You want to know why this subject and why this writer, right? If you can answer those questions. Exactly. And probably why now, at this time. The book proposal served 
as well as selling the book as yeah. a fool's cap page for me, the writer, so I knew what I was doing. I mean, I wasn't the hero of your story. <laughs>